Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into our YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about the Chimera 7 inch from iFlight and this is more about the different battery configurations that uh, I've been testing on this drone in the last week. So start, like, kick the video off over here, we've got a 3300 milliamp battery from Genzace. This is rated to 45C. Now this is a little bit bigger than what iFlight recommend. iFlight actually recommend a 2500 milliamp battery, uh, but I find that this one is perfectly suited to this drone. And not only does it fit perfectly on the frame behind an action camera, but with this battery at 3300 milliamps, you can fly with an action camera for 12 minutes and without the action camera for 16 minutes. So personally, that's like a really good flight time. I find it's not too long that I get bored, but it's also, you know, not too short as well. You know, if you compare it to something like the XL5, which, you know, you only maybe get six, seven, eight minutes, um, this one's significantly longer. So you can really cruise around and just relax and enjoy the flight, which is, you know, what this machine is quite good at. Um, and then in my last video, I talked about making this mount and I did actually end up making it. So I call it the V8 mount and it's 3D printed. If you guys want the file, I'll put a link to it in the description. You can download it, print it yourself. If you can't, uh, reach out to us and I'm sure we can hook you up with one for a small amount of money. Um, so the whole idea here was that I could repurpose the batteries that I've already got from my XL5. And yeah, I mean, they're 1550 milliamps each, but when you combine them in parallel, it actually equates to 3100 milliamps you know if you're smart about it you don't need to buy all new batteries and these ones are actually rated to 100c so you know this one's 45c did notice when i was testing this one the voltage stayed a lot higher towards the end of the flight so i'm you know that's all related to the c rating of the battery the other thing you'll need to make is a parallel adapter and that just, uh, I just sold it up a few XD60s but you can actually buy these online as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a very good setup and the flight time is exactly the same as this, the weight, it's you know within a couple of grams of each other too. So another configuration I went and tested is this 5100 milliamp battery, so this is like pretty huge, this is a battery that we run, uh, we actually run two of these in series on our Beast Class Interceptor drone. But yeah, this one does fit on the frame here, even behind the action camera, which is surprising. I think it's actually sim similar in length to the 3300. It's just, uh, it's a fat boy, as you can see. And yep, that one fits on there, no problem. I flew it around for, with the action camera, 16 minutes and without the action camera, 21 minutes. 21 minutes is like, feels like a long time. I'm starting to get a little bit, a uh, little bit, I don't know, zoned out towards the end of the flight because I've been flying for so long. Um, but you know, if you're into that sort of thing, then that might be a good option for you. Um, it did feel pretty heavy in the air, you know, when you're throwing it around a little bit, it's not fantastic. So. Uh, but an idea of range, uh, with this one, you know, if you're flying for 16 minutes, that's around about 16 kilometers, cruising at 60 kilometers per hour. So that's like an eight kilometer trip out there and eight kilometer trip back. So that's, you know, that's some pretty serious distance if you're uh, into long range, you know, you're gonna be able to get a couple of clicks out, no problem at all. Another configuration I'd like to test in the future is um, some lithium ion packs. I have in the past made my own battery packs uh, for a 4S machine that I had, and I did notice some pretty significant uh, increases in range. However, you're not gonna be able to like, you know, send the aircraft, you know, as hard as you can with a LiPo. With a LiPo, you know, you can deliver a lot more power than a lithium ion can. A lithium ion is, you know, it's a lot less than 45C. You're just going to be cruising with those those kind of configurations. So that you know, those suited for like some super long range stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what I've found from my testing over this week. I've done a lot of flying on it. Really enjoying the aircraft. I personally really love the seven inch style frame, and I think you know, I fly. I can't really find any flaws on it. I'm really really enjoying this one. So. Yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. If you've got any questions about anything, um, 
just post it in the comments and I'll reply to you. So cool, stay tuned. We'll see you on another video. Thanks.